But I had a great session. I'm a freshman uh, this this time around. And it was uh, quite a learning process. It was exciting to get to know other legislators and be part of the process. I, I tried to stay focused on you know what would represent the best interests of the people in our district. And uh, all the votes that I did, about everything I worked on, uh, I try to maintain that focus and not get sidetracked on other other things or other special interests. Um, I do serve on uh, Revenue and, and Taxation Committee. Uh, that committee talks about revenue and taxes, and uh, it was a, quite an interesting thing. Uh, right at the beginning of the uh, session, we go through a lot of administrative rules and decide whether we approve those uh, rules that were put into place by different agencies and tax commission and others. There's always a few rules that we end up rejecting and uh, determining that that didn't really fit uh, what was passed in the law. So that, that takes a few weeks uh, kind of on and off on a regular basis there. That was an inter interesting process. I'm finding there's a lot of rules and, and, and laws pertaining to taxes that I need to probably learn more about in that process. Uh, I'm, I'm not an accountant, but it was an exciting and, and great learning process there. Uh, another committee I'm on is Judiciary Rules and Administration. That's also an exciting committee and I learned a lot there. Um, there's particular issues that came through that committee that uh, some of them were kind of hot button issues. One of them in particular was a landlord-tenant bill. I was co-sponsored with uh, Representative Zollinger on that one. Uh, this particular bill had a lot of changes in it uh, to update um, things for landlords and also for tenants. It was probably a little too sweeping in many areas and it ended up, in the long run it ended up getting defeated and didn't uh, uh, pass out of committee, but uh, or actually maybe it did go on the floor, I can't remember. But anyway, it, it didn't make it and uh, we had we spent a couple of days uh, hearing testimony. Uh, a lot of people come in and testify for that. A lot of them are from the Boise area, uh, but that was an interesting process. Uh, I I do have a bill that I'll be running and, and trying to work on that, and maybe separating some of the, the things that were in that landlord tenant bill into smaller chunks that we can try to get passed. And one of the issues is here. In, in, uh, when a landlord has to actually evict a tenant, and they go through the legal process and uh, they're evicted, you know, through the courts, it's still a difficult process for a landlord to actually remove that tenant. In Bonneville County, for example, here, uh, you actually you have to hire a, a bonded moving company to come and move that person's stuff out if they don't willfully go. You have to also work through uh, the sheriff's office to get that done. And it can be a very expensive thing once you've got an eviction to get somebody out. And it could still take several weeks to do that. And so uh, the bill I'm working on um, will help address that and make that process a little quicker and much cheaper and make it more unified. Uh, our law doesn't currently specify how that process is supposed to work. And so each county can do their own thing right now. And we want to unify that and make it um, more fair for those involved. Um, I did get a few bills passed. Uh, one of the bills that I passed in a red and tax was a level levy disclosure. So if there's a ballot initiative, so you're voting on some sort of a levy. Uh, this bill requires that now they have to disclose how much it would cost in taxes for a $100,000 value of a property that you may own right on the ballot itself. So it's a good disclosure um, and help you understand. Sometimes we're um, told that certain things won't cost us any more money. This is not gonna cost you any more money, right? You've probably heard that on different levies, but now we'll know for sure on the ballot itself when that uh, is actually voted on. I did have another, I'm on the Transportation and Defense Committee as well. And I had uh, a great experience there. Uh, Senator Burtonshaw talked about the need for additional funding for roads, and that is something that's important for bridges and, and maintenance and things, and that's something that we'll continue to look at. Um, I did have a bill that I uh, sponsored there, had to do with electric bikes. 
e-bikes, so e-bicycles um, give a little bit of a boost and assist when you ride them. I don't know if anybody's ridden those, but they're great, especially for us older people. Um, but it's a, a bill that helps regulate that and uh, puts those bikes into a category that they're actually bicycles and not mopeds or other more price type things. And so um, it was an interesting process to work on that. I uh, actually had great input, uh, bipartisan input, and got like, both my bills passed without a single note in both committees and the House and Senate, and I was very appreciative of that. But it's been a great experience. We've got some good legislators here in East Idaho. I enjoy working with them. Uh, there is a couple of things that I think are important uh, that I'll be working on. One is um, the amounts that's collected for tax, uh, sales tax. Uh, the state collects the sales tax, it goes to the state, and then it's redistributed back to the cities and counties. I don't think that we have uh, a, a good formula that's equitable and fair on that process right now. And uh, that is something we looked at and we never got it, anything to kind of come up, but that is a, a, a bill that I will continue to work on and see if we can make that more fair. But thank you very much. I appreciate being here.